video on our channel, we are going to be doing a Dana Love and Peppermint Diabetic. And if you guys are new here and don't already know, Bella got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was just 3 years old. Um, by the time she got to the hospital, they told us that she was minutes away from going into a diabetic coma. She was in something called DKA, which is actually life-threatening. So we are just so thankful that she's here today, that she's alive. Bella, you're so strong. <laughs> so with type 1 diabetes, your blood sugars get low and high because your body doesn't produce any insulin. So we have to give her that. And when she first got diagnosed, she was getting, do you remember, Bella? Like 45 shots a week. Yeah, so we made a video back then and... She was getting so many shots a week. Every time she ate, she needed a shot. Every time she had a snack, she needed a shot. I'm gonna get my shot. And are you scared of your shot? Mm -hmm. You're not scared? It was heartbreaking. Um, I was the one that had to learn how to give her the shots. Straight in. No, no, straight in. Straight in. Suavecito. Go, 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 go. 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 She would cry. It broke my heart every single day, but now it's been five years, and throughout the years, we actually switched to an insulin pump. That is using the Omnipod 5. Bella loves it. She also uses something called a Dexcom, um, and they work together. So now that uh, Omnipod 5 is working together with a Dexcom, and whenever her sugars get low, it turns off her automated insulin. When her sugars are getting high, it gives her like small boluses. So it has been a game changer. Um, I wake up for the last five years. I've woken up every single night. I still do it out of habit But really I should I don't really need to because the pump and the Dexcom work so good together. So yeah So anyways today we're gonna be showing you a day in her life And I just want to say that every day is different like you don't really know with type 1 diabetes Some days are great and Bella's like wow today was a good day and then some days are really hard So hopefully today will be a good day <laughs> fingers crossed you won't get low too many times and um, Yeah, so so with type 1 diabetes, the last thing I want to say is that everything affects it. So like if she's playing outside, running, exercising, she just started Taekwondo, um, sometimes her sugars can get low, so we always have to give her juice, and sometimes we don't might not give her enough insulin, then she gets high. So there's different factors, but yeah, we've learned a lot throughout the years, and Bella has been doing amazing, right? Yeah. So if you guys are type 1 diabetic and you're wondering, she went from like, a 9 point something to a 6.3 A1C and honestly I can't thank the Omnipod and the Dex coming off because it has been amazing because I used to have to uh, prick her fingers like 12 times a day um, to see her sugar and now I can just see it on the phone so oh, <laughs> let me show you guys so right now like I don't know if you could see her sugar is going up a little but that's just because she got low <laughs> In the middle of the night, as you can tell, we always have to have juices by her bed. She had a lot of exercise yesterday in Taekwondo, so that's what caused her, I think, to go a little. A little. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, without further ado, Bella, it is time to go have some yummy breakfast. Are you ready? Yeah! But before we do, I want to ask you a question. What do you want to say to anybody who is type who is a type 1 diabetic or who is going through something tough? What do you want to I say? I just want to tell you guys that you guys are so brave. And also, I love when you guys Yeah, Bella loves to run into other type 1 diabetics because that way she doesn't feel alone and I just want to say that you guys are some of the most strongest warriors that I know and I know it's not easy but you guys got this Bella you're my hero I'm so proud of you it breaks my heart that Bella has to go through so much at such a young age but I feel like it's made her super strong and it's made us strong and it's made us appreciate life a little more so yeah so hopefully today's a good day we're gonna take you along we're gonna go do a little shopping it's time to go get breakfast Bella and some coffee for breakfast and Bella's gonna have some yummy waffles. Yeah, they're my favorite thing ever to eat for breakfast. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what we do every time she eats. So Bella wanted waffles with some strawberries, a few chocolate chips. She wants some whipped cream. Right, Bella? Mm -hmm. She likes to add the chocolate chips. And then one thing that we have to do every time Bella eats is count the carbs. So as you guys can see here, it shows you that for two waffles, it's a total of 24 carbs. But Bella is only eating one. So that's where you have to do all the math. <laughs> so that's 12, right? <laughs> 12 carbs. For the strawberries, I usually, since she's been diagnosed already for five years, I kind of already know her numbers. Yeah. So I count that for like, maybe like 10 carbs. 
And then the whipped cream is one carb and the chocolate chips is five carbs and the total carbs, you're like, oh my gosh, so many carbs. But I already know how much she needs for this. So I'm just gonna do it and I'll show you guys on the screen yeah. and you guys will see how it gives her the insulin. Do you hear beeping? How is it? Amazing. Amazing? Mm -hmm. And guys, this is why I love that she uses the Omnipod because before I used to feel so bad when she first got diagnosed, I would have to give her a shot before she ate. I would have to check her finger and it just made things so much harder and now it's like so easy, right Bella? Mm -hmm. Do you so, love it? Yeah, I love it so much. <laughs> okay guys, so now that I'm done with my delicious breakfast, it's time to pick out an outfit and do something about this crazy hair. Oh, and by the way, I was so excited about this video that I already picked out an outfit. So I'm gonna wear this pink, <laughs> Pink shirt and these white shorts with these cute little sandals. Ah, can you see? Cute little sandals. Oh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. And what about that purse? That purse will look cute oh, too. Yeah. Can't reach it. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I got it. It mm -hmm. looks so cute together. Yeah, so get, get ready yeah. and then we'll see you in a bit, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get ready too. Yeah. So Bella has a dedicated closet for all of her supplies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a new pod. This is what it looks like in the box. I like to use Unisob to remove the one that she has on. And we also use some skin tack to make it nice and sticky for the new one. And of course, some alcohol wipes to clean the area. So yeah, this is what we use. All right, guys, so it is time to change Bella's palm. She changes it every three days. All right, Bella, so where do you want to put the new pot? I want to put it right here. Right there. You ready to be brave, Bella? Where do you yeah. have it right now? In your tummy, right? Uh, yeah, my tummy. Right. Okay. <laughs> Take us. Bella, do you want to peel it or do you yeah. want me to peel it? I want to peel it. You want to peel it? Yeah, go like this. It's coming off. It's coming off? Yeah. Sometimes it hurts a little bit. This time it doesn't hurt like that. That's the needle. Bella? Has some glue. <laughs> she has some glue. We put about 100 units of insulin on here. And that lasts for the three days. A little bit of some of the glue. And I always like to look for an area that doesn't have like a little mark so we know we haven't put it there. All right guys, so it is time to enter in the needle which is called the cannula. Bella, you ready? I'm gonna press start. It's pod secured, yes. Bella likes to hold my hand, I always like to hold it. Better be brave. Wow! Oh. You're so brave. Thank you. But so much better than getting shocked. So right now we're on the way to get some lunch. And Bella, how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, um, Bella's sugar right now is at 95. I just saw it on my phone because we all have the app. Um, so we can all like monitor her sugar. Um, so anyways, Bella, what are you in the mood to eat? I'm in the mood for some, for some chicken nuggets and some fries. Yeah, that actually sounds so good right now. So I guess we'll see you guys once we get there. And right now it's literally so cloudy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you guys once we're eating. Oh, it's okay, baby. Brave! Thank you, I got 
You got a purple bandaid? This is my favorite. And did you cry? No. No? You're going to go show daddy and sissy now? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. So she didn't cry or nothing. Wow. Good job. Yeah. So some of the things that we love about the Omnipod 5 is that it's tubeless. So Bella doesn't have to worry about it getting pulled out since she plays with other kids in Taekwondo. We love that it's waterproof. So as you guys know, we live in Florida and Bella loves to go to the pool. She loves to go to the beach. And she's able to just go in the water without any problem. She still gets her insulin. One of the most amazing things about the Omnipod 5 um, is that it's an automated insulin delivery system. So it increases and decreases insulin and even suspends insulin um, based on her Dexcom reading. Another feature that we really love is the activity feature. So as you guys know, Bella loves to run and play around. She does a lot of exercise. So we put the activity feature and it really helps to like decrease her insulin and increase her target glucose so that she doesn't go low or she doesn't go high. She just stays in range, which we love it because then I don't have to pull her out to give her uh, juice or anything. So it's been amazing. We really, really love it. It's time for dinner and Superdad is cooking some yummy salmon and rice. Yeah, and that's one of my favorite things to eat in the Taiwan. <laughs> Bella loves salmon. So anyways, Bella, how do you think your day went? Do you think you had a pretty good day? Yeah, I would say it's a pretty good day. But her blood sugars were pretty in range when we went to Home Goods to look for some like home decor stuff. It was pretty good. Where else did we go? Mm -hmm. Oh, to have lunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We were going to go to Menchie's, guys, and then it started pouring. Yeah, it was raining so hard. Yeah, the weather here is so bad. But yeah, so like I said in the beginning of the video, there's so many different factors that plays a role like on her blood sugars. Even her mood, like if she's excited, if she's sad, if she's scared, yeah. um, if Even she like gets the heat, like yeah. outside and stuff. If she gets exercise, like whenever she goes to like Taekwondo, yeah. she always needs like an extra snack. Yeah. So yeah, so you never know what you're gonna get. And Bella is so brave, she's so strong for everything that she goes through. We're so proud of you. Yeah. And if you're watching this video and you have type one diabetes or you know somebody who does, just keep um, being strong. You guys are one of the like biggest warriors that I know. If you're newly diagnosed, it does get a little bit easier. Like we said, but I went from getting 45 shots a week to like using the insulin pump. It has made things so much easier. So yeah. So yeah. That's gonna be the end of today's video. We just wanna thank Omnipod once again for partnering with us for today's video. It meant a lot to us. Something that saves Bella's life every day. We're so happy to bring awareness and to show you guys everything that Bella goes through. Yeah, because <laughs> Bella's so brave. Yeah, yeah, Bella. What do you wanna say to any other Type 1 diabetics who are newly diagnosed. Yeah, you guys are just so strong. Aww. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, I mean, if you saw our first video, you know that Bella has come a long way. And even though we have like pretty hard days, things are a lot like yeah, easier. Yeah, it gets better. Yeah, it gets better. So, so yeah, so that's going to be the end of today's video. We love you guys to the moon and back. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.